Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt is now available on GeForce Now and is free to play. If you want a new, very fast paced, free to play battle royale, then this is the game for you. There's six archetypes to choose from, each with two special abilities, a respawn if you die, and blood sucking to boost your powers. This game has so much to it, it does take a bit of getting used to and you can see it running here on the RTX 3080 tier at full ultra settings, getting around 120 frames per second. Now full ultra is probably a little bit over the top for this game because when the fighting starts we do start seeing those frames drop and you do want that reaction time. So if your stream is not going to be able to handle all that action going on at once then dropping this down to high will get you a much more stable 120 frames per second. As you can see I had a good ping here but you will see in some of the bigger battle scenes that my ping does go up so it does seem like there is a lot of data being chucked down that line at 120 frames per second so you probably do want to drop that down to high to keep that consistency if you want to get the drop on people. There really is just so much to this game and it's so fast paced that you will die fairly often but having a second respawn does give you a second chance. If you want to boost your abilities you need to suck the blood of many humans but if you accidentally shoot one or trigger an alarm from one of the armed NPCs then you will also be hunted and your location broadcast to all of the other enemy players as well. So you really do need to be careful who you shoot and when you shoot people as as soon as you shoot you will also appear on the map in the top left. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to dive in on this and whether you'll be playing on GeForce now and what tier. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a good feel for the performance and game. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.